Atlantic Bowl, Queen's Golden Gales won it with an impressive 32-10 decision over St. Francis Xavier X-Men in Halifax. Quarterback Jim Rutger was sharp as he completed 14 of 24 passes for 284 yards. Along with Dave Best, Paul Sugar is the tight end. Rutka with a fake. He's going to try and set up the screen. There it is. Marinucci is up to the... Queens is starting out with a lot of people running all over the place to try and confuse that defense, setting up the screen real well, but that BC defense sure closed down quickly and held them to seven yards. Again, Rutka, this time going deep, intended for a best, it's intercepted. Once again, a lot of motion in that backfield. Receiver is wide open deep. Rutka doesn't quite get that ball there in time. And a super interception coming from behind. Rutka forced to run out of there. And he's taken out of bounds. Forced out by Hirose. And it will be a loss of about three on the play. Rutka injured in the third game of the season in a game against McGill. He did not come back until the playoff game against McGill and then, of course, led the team to the conference title as well as the Atlantic Bowl win over St. Francis Xavier. Rutka going over the middle and it's incomplete. Intended for Bob Doherty. On first and ten, Rutka. This one picked off. Rosie grabs it on the sidelines and steps out of bounds. Second and four, and again, Rutka going to the air. This time, looking downfield for best. It's picked up. It's 25 to about the 23. Well, Bob, you have alluded a couple of times to just how slippery that field is in the midfield area. And it's Queens three, and the University of British Columbia no score. Score of three nothing. Rutka this time with excellent protection. On the sidelines to Miller. It's incomplete. He made the catch, but it stepped out of bounds. He was being covered over there by Craig Miller. Each team has had just two first downs. Rutka being chased by Reset. Campbell comes up to help, and they take him out of bounds. A gain of about three, maybe four yards. Bigger staff was also in pursuit. Over the middle, it's complete to Shugart, and it's another first down for Queens. Kevin Konar and Bernie Crump. And that's called using your height advantage. Big six foot three, Paul Shugart, on the receiving end of this Rutka pass. He goes up high in the air. Good, sure handed catch for the first down. Stop him for a two yard gain. An extra defensive back in there for UBC. Doherty incomplete, and it was Thompson who was covering the leading pass receiver for Queens. Here from a halfback spot he had played in his previous years at Queens. Ruck is only two for eight passing. He almost had that one picked off by Marshall McLeod, the linebacker. It was intended for Tony Manisterski coming out of the backfield. Remaining 19 seconds. Rutka going to the sidelines to Miller. He stepped out of bounds at the midfield stripe, and he stopped short of the first down. He was forced out by Eric Ford. Jim Rutka, of course, is the quarterback uh, with Queens, and it's been a very tough first half, Jimmy. I, I thought that maybe one club would bust loose a little bit, but everyone's hanging in there. Well, I think, Ernie, this is what happens when two close equal teams get together on a Saturday afternoon. I anticipated this, and I knew the fans would be in for a great ballgame today. Yeah, you got all the fans over there. They're really loud so. today, aren't yeah. they? Fan shot but out. is BC uh, doing anything defensively that you didn't out. expect when you're looking at the film? Yes, I think defensively, their secondary is superb today. Uh, witnessed that fact by the, they picked off two or three of my passes in my first quarter. I myself, I was a little bit nervous, I think, coming yeah. into this game, and so I'm settling down now, and I'm looking forward to a good second yeah. half. The butterflies are sort of going away Well, when you play bit. in the national championship, yeah, it yeah. tends to be that way. I think BC, too, is having a little trouble with your defense because you people oh. seem to be doing a few things in there. Our defense has played strong for us all year round. They've come up with a superb effort again today. It, when, when you... Uh, looked at the BC films and talked about BC. Did you consider them possibly the toughest opponent all year in, in your 
I think they'd have to be. Uh, they didn't get to the college ball being a weak link in, in the West, so we knew we were up for the toughest game of our lives. So. Of course, you're no pushovers either, are you? Well, we try to be good. <laughs> Thanks very much for Thanks. joining us, Jim. I know you have to get back Thanks, to the restroom. All right, and good. Rucka on the reverse to O'Doherty. O'Doherty trying to follow the blocking of Shugart, and he is stopped inside the 10 of the 9-yard line by Doug Biggerstaff. Miller goes wide left. The action is to the left. Rutka throwing into the end zone. It's knocked away by Hirose. It was intended for Miller. Good defensive effort back there. Hirose has already intercepted two, and he knocked away a touchdown throw. And it's a little disconcerting for receivers and defensive backs alike having to suddenly leave the grass and run onto this artificial uh, takeoff area for high jumping and so on that's in the end zone here. Super catch by Miller, and he really took the punishment when he caught the ball, but he pops right back up and gets back into that huddle. Really got the lumber laid to him that time. Okay, with that 15-yard pass, bootleg action. He's going to run it. Looking for the safety of the sidelines. He steps oh. out of bounds, and there's also a penalty flag. I wouldn't be surprised if clipping is called against Queens. Second down, Rutka. in behind Thompson and the ball was delivered perfectly by Rutka. Rutka throwing back against the flow of the play puts that ball right on the money. We see Thompson cut in front. That might have distracted him a little bit but big play that went for nothing. We'll be back after this message. Rutka going deep. It could be picked off. Miller, it was intended for best. One of the injured players at the UBC bench. O'Doherty is caught immediately by Miller. Up the field. Rutka faked the throw. He's going to carry it himself. He's got a first down. Well, just when it appeared as though UBC had Queens pinned deep in its own zone, runs first by Manisterski and then by that man quarterback Jim Rutka moved Queens out of trouble and he did have a receiver open but he got a little bit of pressure and tucked it away and there was wide open countryside for him to run into a dozen yards for Rutka he hasn't done too badly as a ball carrier this afternoon the big flag is down. Rutka's pass was intended for Doherty on the sidelines covered there by Beecroft. They are now at the 40. Second and seven, 4.28. The time left. Rutka over the middle. It's incomplete. It was intended for Shugart. He interceptions he earlier. Fumbling that ball, giving Queens a chance now to perhaps put it away. That offensive line drives everybody off. Marinucci since simply leans behind that big convoy out in front of him. In the stands, the excited Queen supporters relishing this 16-3 advantage that the Golden Gales enjoy over the Thunderbirds. It's a tight ball game. It was 6-3 midway through that fourth quarter. And then Queens was able to put together a good drive and with the help of a penalty marched at 97 yards. A fumble down at the three yard line recovered by Queens enabled them to go in for the touchdown by Marinucci. Just looking at these guys down.